what an invention needs to be patentable let's now try to understand what a patent is the word patent originates from the latin word patero which means to lay open this indicates that the complete disclosure of the invention to the government is an integral part of the process of patenting one of the most important things to remember is that patent rights are territorial that is the patent granted in india is valid only in india to have protection in other countries the inventor is required to file a patent application separately in the desired countries the first ever patent in the world was granted to a german engineer in 1323 in venice italy for his model grain mill which could cater to the storage needs of the entirety of venice In the United States, the first patent was granted in the year 1787 for a specially designed grain elevator. In India, the first ever patent statute was passed in 1857, but a proper patent legislation was passed in the year 1970 in the form of Patents Act 1970, which is considered as a landmark step for industrial development in India. The main purpose of this act was to encourage inventions in India and facilitate commercialization of the inventions without any undue delay. The patent system aims at encouraging industrial development, encouraging complete disclosure of invention, preventing duplication of research, focusing on commercial relevance of the invention, preventing exploitation of researchers by giving them recognition as inventors. and providing them royalty upon commercialization and generating revenue when the invention gets commercialized in order for an invention to be patentable it should be a new product or process it should involve an inventive step and it should be capable of industrial application but first what is novelty novelty is a measure of how new a technology is To gauge the novelty of an invention, a comparison of existing prior arts with the most novel elements of the invention is done. Novelty means any technology which has not been anticipated by publication or claimed in any document. Prior public use of the invention can also destroy the novelty of the invention. Your own publication can destroy novelty of your invention and prevent you from getting a patent. If you wish to publish a research paper, it is highly recommended to file for a patent first and then publish a research paper. Now, let's talk about an example in which the inventor destroyed the novelty of their invention by publishing a paper about their invention. In Fomento versus Mentmore in 1956, the invention was for an improved nib for a pen. The patentees published a description of pen making and made the invention available to the public before patenting. These acts destroyed the novelty of their invention and prevented them from getting a patent. Non-obviousness of an invention is the second criteria for patentability. Inventive step or non-obviousness means that the invention should not be obvious to a person skilled in the art. Let's now take one example to understand non-obviousness or inventive step. In mines, people often need a hard cap to protect their head and a handheld torch to enable visibility in the dark. Since a handheld torch was used, the miners were forced to use only one hand for work. But then arrived the idea of combining the hat and the torch such that the purpose of protection and visibility were met. In addition to that, the miners could use both their hands leading to increased productivity of work. The idea of combining a hard hat and torch is unique and novel, but the final product comprising the two well-known products has no synergy between them taken individually. Therefore, it is obvious to a person skilled in the art and doesn't fulfill the criteria of a patent. So what is inventive step? Inventive step is defined under section 21J A of the Indian Patents Act 1970 as Inventive step means a feature of an invention that involves technical advance as compared to the existing knowledge 
or having economic significance or both and that makes the invention non obvious to a person skilled in the art a person skilled in the art is presumed to be an ordinary practitioner aware of what was common general knowledge in the art at the relevant date he is also presumed to have had access to everything in the state of the art in particular the documents cited in the search report and to have had at his disposal the normal means and capacity for routine work and experimentation there are many ways to check the non obviousness of the invention the distance between the subject matter of the invention and the prior arts is determined if the distance is large establishing an inventor step is easy this means that there is a huge gap between the invention and its prior arts Inventive step may also be present in an invention if there is a surprising or unexpected effect. Also, if an invention solves a long felt need, there is a presumption that the invention is not obvious as other inventors might have also tried to solve it but could not provide the solution to fulfill the need. Another indicator of non-obviousness is the failure of others. If other inventors have tried to solve a problem and were not successful, the invention is likely to involve an inventive step there is scope for an inventive step if the invention has a problem that couldn't be solved by other experts yet another indicator of non obviousness is complexity of work if the development process of an invention involved many complex tasks then the invention was not a matter of routine work in such cases the invention may be non obvious Lastly, every invention which is non-obvious and has an inventive step has one major indicator that is commercial success. If the innovation caters to an existing demand, then it is bound to achieve commercial success. The third and last criteria for patentability is that the invention should be capable of industrial application. An innovation must have industrial applicability to be patentable. generally very few cases where the invention does not have an industrial application john lahiri khan came up with a novel concept of making friends even if this concept could be applied in commercial enterprises it was to be excluded as a method for doing business thank you you may contact us at info@theratorigin.com at